one minute. Yeah, I hope I'm now, now I'm audible. Yes, audible, mm, very good, yes. Now audible, yes. Bhagya, Rita, thank you so much. Yes, Aditi, yes, good, good. Good to see all of you here, achieving goals, hi, Divya. Now audible, absolutely. Hi, Charvi, hi, Simran. Hi, Hari Murli. Hi, Preetam. Good evening. So, now that I am completely visible and audible, let's quickly start a session. It's a very fun session. Come on. Throughout the week, you guys study so much, right? So, now it's time for us to take a little bit slow. And anyways, you are an expert in biology. I can 100 posts and I have that full guarantee on a paper. You can, you know, you can ask me to sign on a piece of paper which says that you kids are ready for your bio exam. I'll be like, yes, my kids are ready for the examination. That much confident I have on each one of you because you are performing really very good. You're answering all the questions during the previous year question paper session. And all of you are saying, ma'am, it's such an easy question. Please get some difficult question. So that's good, right? Yes, dab, dab, dab. You people are really super awesome, super heroes of biology, I can say. Good evening. Hi, I can see if there are a few new students with her. Hi, Archana. Hi, Anvil. Hi, Yashwardhan. Hi, Suti. Hi, Ashrita. Hi, Garima. Good evening. Hi, Anirudh. Good evening. So we have a lot of new kids with us, right? New friends with us. Hi, Kartik. Awesome! Hi Amit, Unnati, Jajit, Lilip. So in today's class, right, we'll be quickly discussing about the your last 50 days strategies that can actually help you to ace your bio exam. Before we start with that, right, let's quickly discuss about the question that we have in yesterday's class, right? The homework question. So over here we had the homework question, right? So, in the previous class, we had a discussion and we had these two questions that with the help of a mental experiment, we have to show traits may be dominant and or recessive and then we have to state on the traits are inherited independently. So, we can easily show it with the help of a dihybrid cross over there, right? And we can mention about the parents. They are two different characteristics. We are talking about the color of the seed and the shape of the seed. That's why it's a dihybrid cross. We have discussed that there will be this formation of the gametes and then we will have the F1 progeny. Furthermore, we have discussed about the law of dominance where the dominating allele will be suppressing the recessive one. Yes? Right? So, over here, if we talk about capital R, capital uh, Y are dominating as compared to the small r and small y, right? So that's the law of dominance. We'll be focusing on the word dominant and recessive. So we here we have the cross, right? And this is how we can go ahead with that. Now we have the phenotypic ratio, which is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So we can write about uh, the answer in this particular way. Then, of course, this law talks about the law of independent assortment, right? That alleles are not dependent on each other. They'll be separating in the uh, gametes formation and they'll be expressing themselves out. So this is how you can write the answer in the examination. You can mention about the cross, right? And then you can mention about the, the during the Mendel's experiment, the alleles are capable of expressing themselves physically in the heterozygous condition. They are dominating, right? So they'll be able to express it. And we have the recessive traits over here. We will have the homozygous condition. So I hope that each one of you got this answer, right? And the second part of this question was this. So this is how you can frame your answer in the examination. Yes, everyone, quickly tell me all of you got this answer, right? A very quick thumbs up. Now let's see. There are a few students who have actually answered this particular question in the previous session. So we have Aditi, Hari Murli, Azmi, Gungun. And we have um, Sukhvasmita, then we have Abu Tharheer, then we have Bhagya. Then there are a few students who have mentioned that the session was awesome. Thank you so much, Puneet, Aditi, and uh, we have Diksha. Right, so this was, a question, this was the answer for the very first question. Now let's talk about the second question that we have. Yes, I hope that you got it right. Uh, the phenotypic ratio in the F1 generation, all are round seeds with the yellow color okay that is for the 
Uh, over here, when we talk about it, we are discussing about the dihybrid cross, right? Right, everyone? So, this is sorted. Now, let's talk about the next question. The next question was that why should biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste, this, uh, you know, waste should be discarded diff in, into the different dustbin. So, can you quickly tell about this? Right, can you quickly tell me, uh, tell me about this answer? What is biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste? We know that the biodegradable waste is a waste that can be easily decomposed by the microorganism and the duration will be very less as compared to the plastic. So maybe in 10 days, we will see the biodegradable waste getting easily decomposed. But when we talk about the other waste, right, like if you have the biodegradable waste, we can still write about these points. It can be easily decomposed by the microorganism or microbes, but when we talk about the non-biodegradable waste, especially the plastic, it takes ages to get it decomposed and it's not, it will not be decomposed properly also, right? So, this is how you can frame your answer talking about the biodegradable and non-biodegradable, telling what are these wastes are and then you can mention about the uh, process, right? And this is how you can frame your answer. So, are we clear with this, right? Very easy question. Yes, very good. Yes, we should not be uh, make, uh, we should not be putting these two ways together because it will create the you know huddles for the microorganism to basically break down the biodegradable waste also. So we should separate them out. Yes, very good. Yes, very good, Garima. Kajukatli question, Shubha. Yes, it is. No issue, Sanvi, welcome. Bhaskar, yes. Yes, Vineet. I hope you are coming to understand. Arshita, yes, segregating, yes. It's, it's really very important for us to segregate the waste. Okay. So that was our homework question and let's clap for the homework rock stars, right? And now, we'll be moving ahead to the main important topic. So when I was a kid, you know, I was really afraid of one thing, like definitely we will be learning throughout the year, right? Sitting, referring, making notes. But there's one thing which actually scares me off. Can you guess that thing? And I'm sure, I hope that it's not for you, but maybe few of us have the same fear. There's a, every year, right, once we have that great amount of study throughout the year, there's one thing which actually just makes us a little bit nervous. Yes, come on, come on, come on. What is that we're talking about? So I used to, ah, I can see the answers. Please write your questions over here. Yes, Nathan will do that. Exam, right? Yes. So we will be discussing about, I'll answer that. So the 10% law of energy states that the only 10% of the 10% of the energy will be moving from one tropic level to the another. That's the 10% law of energy. Exams, right? Coming back to the main question. Yes, we all are kind of afraid of the exams. So there will be a little bit of the nervousness around when we're talking about the exams. However hard we study throughout the year, we always have that fear, right? Or always have that concern that how our exam, uh, you know, how the paper will be, how we're going to write the examination. Oh, hope that we have not missed any topic, etc, etc. So all of this happens to each one of us when we are, you know, when you're going out and writing the examination. So, you know, what we thought, like before we are going into the mode, right, we all, anyways, we all are in a mode of learning. Let's quickly discuss about these important factors that you can do. Some of the important tips and the tricks that all of us can follow so that we can ace our exam. Yes? Everyone, I hope that you are ready. So, let's talk about it. We have tried to make it a little bit fun, right, so that we can enjoy our session. So, when we talk about the examination, we have three different types of people in the examination hall. You pick one of these, which one of you are. So there will be all oh, kids, right? They'll be like, yes, I know this. Whenever they see the question paper, they'll be like, yeah, I know this particular question. So are you that kind? Or are you this kind? I must remember something. Oh, before the examination or in the exam hall, right? Oh, I must remember something. Oh, I can't remember that one thing which is missing. We all have that phase also. 
and of course there are few people which is in the examination hall oh my god what is this i don't remember anything i'm sure i must have seen somewhere in my textbook but i have no idea what is this so in which category you are yes we have three categories over here in which categories we are okay gunmun is saying i am in first second uh jayjeet is saying uh in second that's good ashita even i don't use i will not carry the books with me bhagya category 1 madhav category 1 i can see a little a lot of categories of 1 2 and 3 sayed is saying you're in category 3 uh, achieving goals in category 1 aditi 2 okay jp par okay okay now i can't focus so i think we have our categories i think uh, i will be in third category right what is that you know oh i don't remember i did that but i don't remember now yes sanvi are you in class 9th peptic also we'll be discussing that after some time yes right so we have our categories right we all have our categories that we are into So let's see that how we can react, right? So when we talk about the first category, yes, I know these kids are the one that actually go ahead into the examination hall with full preparation, right? With everything sorted, right? Now I'm sure you must have heard this quote that planning is bringing the future into the present so that you can do something about it now. I'm sure you agree, right? So when you plan, right? what happens basically we are bringing the future that what that there's something which we want is from the future we are bring we are actually bringing it back to the present so that we can do something about it so planning is really very important so we'll be talking about that mohammed in a while yes you can note on all of these important points everyone important these are important so planning is everything right so this again a very well known saying well planned is half done so i'm sure when you are starting to you know learn about a term two or you are when you starting the preparation of it i'm sure you will be planning right how many of you plan actually quickly tell me i plan so i am a very uh, i launch i'm a very great planner with the things but yeah i always plan my day in the morning i know it might sound uh, too much of it but every morning i'll be making my plan like some of the important things that i'll be doing right so the important I should have a at least a rough picture of my day, and when I do that, I have a clear uh, idea that how much time I'll be spending in doing various activities that are really very important, right? I put some of the priorities things at the top, so I know that if I cover up this, my whole day will be really very smooth. Yes, we do that, and that's what's really very important. So if you haven't planned as of now, don't worry. We'll be discussing how we can start with the planning also. But you have started planning for your examination and your learning. claps for you and a big thumbs up that's amazing if you have started the planning so well plan is half done so that's a very important thing we all should do moving ahead we know that this well planning if you have you if you have done in the past very good if you haven't we've got to cover right we are here we are here or i'm here your teachers are here for you so that we can actually help you to plan I can read some comments and some funny comments that you know, ma'am. I plan every day, but I never follow them. Now I, I used to do the same, but now uh, not losing it, planning every day will give you a habit of uh, doing those things. Cross pollination method. Even uh, then, the style will pass male gametes to female gametes. So what happens if the cross pollination is happening is uh, is happening naturally? Yes, we will see the transfer of the gametes happening, right? But the fertilization process will not. Now there are some time when we do uh, the uh, you know artificial uh, pollination where we will be removing the either male or the female gamete. So I think uh, Nidhan, I have answered your question, right? Great. Chalo, let's talk about the plan, everyone. Here we have the strategy. The first thing that we'll be doing is talking about the strategy. The one thing what we can do is talking about the plan. then of course how we can take the action of it and of course the revision so we are starting with planning everyone i hope that all of you are ready 
right with your pen and with a notebook each one of you should be ready for the planning right now what do you think is important for the planning thing yes hi shubham good evening suresh yes thank you madhav hi aman very good everyone chalo very quickly tell me what is the first thing when we will be doing for the planning so for example you are sitting out there to plan the first thing that we should uh, do when we are talking about the planning especially for the examination is to know your syllabus right that's a first thing we all should know we should know our syllabus we should write down the subject wise syllabus of each uh, particular subject right and then we'll we have to see that you know what we can do right and of course you can find the link in the description box below talking about the syllabus right that we have so first thing of course know your syllabus right if you know your syllabus you can easily plan ahead with that and uh, yeah you should that's really very good right and don't think that you have enough time you have enough time but not to waste the time that's again very important thing yes we should not be wasting our time come on so let's start with the know your syllabus so this time in your term 2 examination you have three chapters right three chapters how to organize and reproduce heredity and an environment yes are we clear you tell me right so we have these three chapters charvi uh, you can tell me how much time is left still we are waiting for the date so hopefully approximately let's say we have good amount of days with us right we can if we haven't started yet we can still plan right and we can still go ahead and do the planning and can learn so when we talk about know your syllabus as the first part of the planning over here we are breaking down the important topics of each and every chapter that we have in term 2 take a screenshot everyone quickly take a screenshot in biology we have the chapter how do organism reproduce we have sexual uh, we have the reproduction and its importance we have asexual reproduction its type sexual reproduction in flowering plants and reproduction in the humans and the contraceptive methods yes so all of these points are important right all of these points are important and if you go ahead with this way we will be covering each and every important topic then let's talk about the next chapter that is heredity we have this heredity and the evolution the definitions of inheritance heredity and variation p plant and seven contrasting characters of it then the rules of inheritance right then we have the laws then we have the mono hybrid and di hybrid cross easy right again take a screenshot of it so if you are going for your examination you should be covering all of these topic you can't go to examination without knowing about these topic yes then let's talk about the last the easiest chapter that will be giving you marks in a golden plate so this chapter is like take marks right it's just serving you the marks so it's a very interesting and super easy chapter so the important topics we have is the definition of environment and ecosystem food chain and the 10 percent law of energy biomagnification waste management and ozone depletion right so this is all about the no your syllabus shubham i'll uh, just you can change the settings of your uh, phone and or maybe of your system you'll be able to see the video clearly yes are we clear everyone so first first step is done the planning no your syllabus break uh, break the chapter into uh, the uh, you know different topics and you have it that's great take marks yes just serving on the plate take marks take marks maybe it's like you're going for a shopping and you have this right there's no window shopping you are going out there and you are aramse getting the marks power of cbsc absolutely correct awesome so we are clear with this right now let's talk about the planning thing whenever it comes to planning the work the first thing that we have is the time table i'm sure you must have seen the uh, various time tables right in schools also we have a time table the teachers will be always telling you to make the time table right but how many of you make the time table give me uh, you know give me a hands uh, you can put your hand, hands up or you can just write thumbs up or you can write yes how many of you actually make the time table but don't tell me that ma'am i make the time table but i don't follow it come on kavita hi hi yashika okay bhage singh 
Okay, he does that. Then JP Powers. Then Pallavi, Shubham, Kavita, Garima, Gopal, achieving goals. Hari Murli, Shubham. Nice, Farhan. Pallavi, Divya is saying, very good, Gungun. Gopal, Aditi. So I think many of you are making the timetable, right? Nice. That's good. So we should be making the timetable and this is how you can make your timetable. It's just the suggestive uh, schedule we have. Definitely you can change according to your timings, right? So 15, 15 days, pick up something new that you have not studied. For example, many of you uh, loves how to organize and reproduce and our environment chapter, right? But maybe you haven't spent much time on the chapter which is heredity. Maybe you haven't practiced the question of monohybrid cross and dihybrid cross that much. So what you can do from now onwards, you can spend your time in doing those questions, right? These are something new thing that you'll be exploring. So you can start with doing this. Then as the days are approaching, what you can do, you can start solving the NCRT question and the exemplar question, right? You can always take up the board, uh, mock board examination. And the last day you should revise and do the sample papers. Very easy thing, right? And you know what? There is one good thing. So I know that uh, um, when we talk about the timetable, it can be really very overwhelming. But can I tell you a small trick? Yes? Can I tell you a small trick? Making timetable is really very easy. Yes? Screen is blur. Just, ch just check with the setting. I don't think it should be blur. Because from our side, everything is proper and I can see my screen. So either just see the setting. Yes. Right? So are we clear with this? Okay. Now, you know, see over here, I'm just telling you the, the, the hardest, uh, uh, not the hardest, I would say, the easiest timetable. So divide your day into 24 hours. See, we can all do that. On a sheet of paper, we'll have the 24 hours, uh, you know, 24 hours, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then... Uh, after that, noon, etc. Just write the one one hour slot. Majority of it, of course, the night time will go into the sleeping. Then, it, then you have the rest hours right with you. You can actually fill it. You'll be getting up there. You'll be having your breakfast. You'll be learning for that uh, particular amount of time. Two hours for maths, one hour for physics, one hour for chemistry, one hour for bio. That's how you can divide it, right? So try it out, everyone. I'm sure it'll be, you know, it will actually help you to track your day. Like for the 24 hours, it's a really very amazing way to make the timetables. Yes, I, you, can, you, know, you, you can actually try and making these timetables and you can tag us on the Instagram by using, uh, by, you know, we have the channel, so hashtags by Jews. Do that so we'll have that fun. We'll be able to see that. Yes? Okay. Are we clear with it? Give me a thumbs up. A quick thumbs up. Hi, Sonali, no issues. Gungun, you can always give that. If you have to give more time to maths, it's the timetable is really, really flexible and it's up to you how you want to design your timetable. Hi, Lana. Hi, Shraddha. Yes. Awesome. Chalo, let's move ahead, everyone. Now, when we're talking about the planning and all, please don't put a burden on yourself. Oh my God, I have to study 16 hours a day. You don't have to. Just don't put that burden on yourself. Join, uh, you know, uh, plan your day properly. Have that understanding that the amount of energy you want to give to your exam, exam preparation, you should be comfortable with it. Yes. So we are clear with this, right? Now, the important thing in the planning is that to know what is the exam pattern. Now, we know that this time we have the subject, subjective questions and we have the case-based study questions, right? We have two different types of questions. In that also we know that we have two and three marks questions. Now two marks questions are really very direct in approach and the three marks question are the one that are kind of twisted, right? Those will be very jalebi questions, right? So again, two marks question are kaju katli question if I can make this uh, kaju katli for all of us and three marks question are those jalebi questions which the answer is really very easy but uh, you know uh, the question is really very twisted. Three marks question actually talks about the application of a particular topic. 
So we have to be clear about the concept, then only we'll be able to write the three marks answer properly. Right? And then comes our favorite case-based study question, which are kind of a uh, piesim, right? Or the kheer. I'm sure all of you love kheer, right? Or the piesim. So it has lot of things. It has the grains, it, it has the rice, it has dry fruits, it has milk, it has a lot of content. That's how the dish has been served. Okay? So three types of questions and three different types of sweets. I hope that you will remember this. No, you will not get the diabetes after this. Right. Okay, wait. Now I can see. Uh, it's okay, Shraddha. You can definitely watch it later. I can see uh, many of you are asking about the um, sleep. We'll be discussing about that. Yes. Shubham, we will. Uh, so, again, the number of the questions that will be have in the science paper, it's kind of subjective. It keeps on changing, so I'll not be able to give you the proper, you know, okay, this time you will have 10 questions from bio. So, that I'll not be able to give it to you. Right? Awesome. So we'll be discussing about that. So are we clear with this? Are we clear with planning? Quickly, everyone. Come on, come on. Very quickly tell me about Are we clear with the planning stuff? Right? You know what you have to do. Planning is clear. Know your syllabus. Know the exam pattern of your syllabus. And make a timetable. Simple. Three things and we are done. Now let's talk about the action. The second step. What we can do about it. Now we are ready and we'll be like... Bring it on, we'll be able to face it. <laughs> it's, it happens, are we? Yes. Okay, now what is the plan of our action, everyone? What do you think is a, will be the plan of action? You study, you write exam, I passed the exam and I forgot? No, it should not be the case, right? You study, you write the exam and you remember the information because that will be helping you to build up the uh, foundation. Yes? Very good. Revise, review. Yes, we have to study to gain the knowledge, right? We have to make our foundation strong because if you have noticed, right, the topic that you have studied in class 6, 8th are very much similar to the topics you have in class 10th. And the topics that we have, in, you know, in 7th class or in 9th class, right, the 9th and 7th have a lot of similar topics. So there's always a connection. And from 6th to 10th, we are just building on the floors, right? We have the base and we are building a building on that. So that's really very important. We should study to gain the, you know, to gain the knowledge while studying it properly. So everyone agree on that, right? All the best. Manya, you'll be doing amazing. You don't have to worry about anything. Yes. So are we clear with this? Strong foundation is important. Yes. So the important thing, Shraddha, to, uh, to solve the case-based question is that read the question properly. The answer will be there in the important keywords. So if you're talking about the reproduction, they must have mentioned few things about the reproduction from where you can get the answer. So read the question. Answer is al already there in the case-based study. Yes? Okay. Now let's talk about the actions that we can take as an individual. Now we have various techniques and there's one of the techniques which is my personal favorite is the Pomodoro technique, right? So it's a very easy technique. It basically allows us to move a lot. So the technique that we have over here is that decide which chapter or topic you want to study. Then for 25 minutes without any distraction, study that topic. Yes? Just for 25 minutes, right? 25 minutes seems very doable, right? We can aram to sit for 25 minutes and study a topic. Then take a break, right? Take a break for 5 minutes and again come back and start studying. Do it for 4 times, take out 25-25 minutes of, of, of session and then once the 4 sessions are done, you can take a bigger break. Yes? That, that's very good, uh, Charvi. So, Nali, it's a technique, right? Uh, basically, given by the uh, person and of course this technique talk, talk about that we will be focusing on one task for 25 minutes straight without any distraction. So when we follow this technique, we'll be able to achieve the greater results. Right? Awesome. Now let's talk about the further action. Your goal should be clear that what you want to study. 
Make yourself a daily small goal that you'll be learning. Monohybrid cross. Practice five questions of monohybrid cross. Or practice ten questions of dihybrid cross. Have that, right? Have that clarity that what is your goal for today for that particular topic. Plan that out, focus on it, and gradually increase your goals, right? From five to six question, then from six to nine, and then ten or fifteen. Do that. Then, of course, always give you give some time in between. You can give yourself small treats. You can go out for a walk, or maybe you can ask your parents if they want to sit with you and talk. Right? You can do that also. You can talk to your friends, and you can watch sessions on YouTube like this learning sessions, right? Which actually help you to learn the concepts. Right, everyone? I hope that I want you to try this, and please do tell me in the comment section below that oh, what was the results of this portal technique. Yes. Yes, Shubham, you are absolutely correct. Manya, you can watch the videos that we have in we have it on this channel, and it, it will actually help you to revise. Yes, yes, ready. So, are we clear, everyone? Quickly, a thumbs up, and we'll be moving ahead. Yes, ready. I'm not ignoring you. Right? Awesome. Yes, Manav. So, we are clear with the actions. We this is the action plan we have. Apart from that, what we can do, you can always make the notes, right? You can always have the textbook with you, write the important notes, highlight the important keywords, and then have the good, uh, you know, no notes with you. Do not copy notes, right? You don't have to copy notes. Notes are something that you have understood from the particular topic, and then you're going ahead with that. So always do, always make your own notes. Uh, Ashita, I would suggest that now, like, if you have very less time. You know, you don't have to buy any uh, any reference book. You can focus on the CBSC textbook, NCERT textbook, and the NCERT exemplar. Yes, that will be great. Okay, talking about the action, everyone, you can be creative. You can use the flow charts, make notes, you use, use different color codes. Mind maps are really very good. You can make the tables, and of course, you can use some tips and tricks to you know have a understanding about the whole thing. So this is a very easy thing we all are aware about. That's very good, Charvi. Uh, Rani, there are a lot of good books we have, right? There are a lot of good books we have in the market that are really amazing. You can pick any. The difference between allele and a gene. So gene is a small fragment of the DNA, and allele is the alternative form of the gene. So the black hair, the black hair color or the brown hair color is governed by a gene. So we have the alternative form of gene. Yes. Awesome. Let's move ahead, everyone. So here we have a few examples of the effective notes. While writing the answers and making notes, always write in the points. Right? Always write in the points. Don't follow this. A big no. Do not write your answers and the notes in the paragraph. You will not be able to read off. You know, you will not be able to read from it. Yes. Um, Samprit, if you are feeling distracted, right? Try this technique that we have spoken about. Twenty-five minutes of no distraction, just focus on one particular topic. I hope that will be helping you. Yes, this is the one way we can do that. Then, of course, highlight the important words so that you will remember that these are the important words we have to do. Whenever we are making the difference, right? Tables, always make a table, write the answers properly, and always write the examples for it. Yes. Now, of course, you can follow these amazing links. Mania, especially for you, if you have uh, exam tomorrow, you can watch. There's a link with, which we have in the description box below. You can watch the sessions. When we talk about the action plan, right? What is the action plan, everyone? We have first, of course, read the chapter, do the NCERT exercise, then do the NCERT exemplar, then follow the sample paper, then of course, watch the one-shot videos that we have, and of course, then take a mock test exam. You know that at most mock tech exam, mock test papers are going on, right? From 12th to 30th, you can regis register for free, and you can give the examination. The important thing about the examination is that they are being tailor-made according to the term two subjective exam format, right? F uh, keeping in mind that you know you will be writing your term two. That's how they have made it. Yes. So that's a good thing, right? Do that. Yes, yeah, so it's a very easy technique. Nothing very new, nothing very fancy. You are all aware about this. Then comes the revision. So we know that practice, 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 and more practice. Practice makes things perfect, right? Of course. 
This is a lot better. The more you practice, the more confidence you will have and more easily you can write the answer in the examination. So practice more. Revise by the notes that you have made. Go through the mind map, use flashcards, have the formula, you know, you can stick those sticky notes on the walls with the formula, with the, with the diagram, with the important definitions, important laws. Right? So that's good. Again, Red Day, I'll not be able to say that how many marks the heredity chapter will be getting, right? We don't have it in the CBSE in that particular way. Summer vacation, Pratik, Aram, say you can do whatever you want to, right? You can play, you can go out, you have a lot of options. But for examination, we can follow these things, right? So these are the important things we should do. Then some of the important tips and the tricks that we have for each one of you is that stay organized, stay planned, right? Avoid studying in the bed. How many of you actually study in the bed? I used to do it, but then I realized it's not good for my studying, right? So I switched back to the table and chair. That's really very good, Harsh. That's very good, Leah. It's up to you, again, up to you. So you know what? Before the session, before I'll be starting my session, I will be, I sometime, you know, mostly, while coming, while on the traveling or before the session, I, there will be some songs which will be going, you know, going on in my head. Some of the, you know, fast-paced song that actually make, gives us energy. Yes? So that's how. So it's all good. Stay organized, avoiding study in your bed. Always sit and study on the table and chair. Right? Eat good food and important thing, sleep pro properly and study at your own place. And the pace, important thing. So with that, everyone, we are done, right? I think many of you are asking that, ma'am, how we can sleep. So the important thing over here for all of us to do that if you are going to the bed, if you are feeling anxious, right, there are times we always feel that, oh my God, there is so much to learn. Don't worry, right? You cannot do it in that particular movement. Can you think about that? Calm your mind, take some deep breaths, right? And just sleep. Plan your day. When you have a plan, you will not feel it. Still, each one of you have time, so start planning. In the next session, we'll discuss about it, how your planning is going on. You can write in the comment section below, right? If you need any help in the terms of planning and how you're planning, tell us over there, it'll be great. Now we can actually give you some tips also there. With that, everyone, we are done with our ses uh, session today. We'll be meeting on 11th of March, right? Today is 11th of March. We will not be meeting. After my class, you have physics, previous year question paper, so stay tuned. Sort of will be coming and teaching you this, so get ready for that. And with this, everyone, we are done. We have got you covered, and thanks for trusting all of us with that. You can try the free class trial. There's a link in the description box below. And don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. I hope that you have hit the like button for the video, right? Do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pratik. Yes, notes, Vandana, you can make the notes, they're always convenient. They will actually give you the clarity that how much you know about a particular topic. So it's always ad advisable to make notes. Uh, Ritu, a very good question, Ritu have asked, that how to write the answer in your own language. So, so what happens, we will be writing in English. So to do that, think in your mind that what you want to write. Right? So if you start thinking in your own mind that, what are the things you want to convey on the piece of paper? It will be easy for you to write the answer. You have to use the keywords. That is an important thing. Once you have the keywords, frame your sentence. Thank you so much, everyone. Very good. Very good, Shubham. Thank you, Sonali. Yes, uh, reference book ready again. I would suggest that read CBSC NCRT textbook and exemplar. That's enough. You will not be needing anything more than that. You can watch our sessions. You have ample amount of you know, resources with you. Please write your doubt, Priyansh. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, Pratik, uh, CBSE will be awarding you the full marks if you're writing it. But remember to write the important keywords. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, Flashcards, you know, of course, so we have different flashcards. You can make some image, write some important words. Whenever you, see, you will see it, you will remember the concept. So that's how you can plan. We don't have any homework today. 
you can actually try the techniques and tell me in the chat box in the comment section how was your you know these techniques were yes that's uh, that's it from my side everyone thank you so much for coming to the session and learning with us i will be seeing you next week till then lots of love right keep on learning keep writing your um, if you have any concern that we can address in the comment section right after the video just write in the comment it will be great lots of love to you hearts happy weekend still have time read get ready everyone and lots of love bye bye everyone